Hey guys, it's Edie, your video creation strategist, and welcome to another episode of Video Overview. In today's video, we are going to feature VMaker from Animaker. So this video is going to give you a general summary about video creation products, platforms, tools, services, or software. And VMaker is essentially a direct competitor to my beloved Loom. So yes, I am going to do an overview video on them because, you know, all is fair in love and war, as they say. Um, I came across VMaker because the owners reached out to me um, wanting me to do some sort of a video. So what I normally do is I check them out, see if it's going to be worth my while to invest my time in the platform and then I will create videos for them. So the first one I'm going to do is an overview. So today's video I'm basically just giving you a bird's eye view on this product just to see what the bells and whistles are and whether it's worth investigating a little bit more. So VMaker is a screen and webcam recording tool. It is, like I mentioned, a direct competitor to Loom. It also compares itself to Camtasia, which um, I don't really think is a fair comparison because I wouldn't even compare Camtasia to Loom, but I digress. So you would need to use this platform if you would want to do the same things that you would do on Loom. If you needed to do really quick screen recordings or if you wanted to record yourself because it does offer you the ability to record your screen, to record yourself or to record both, just like Loom does. VMaker does have some interesting features that are going to be coming out that I want to create featurettes on um, because I think those are impressive and I'm cu curious to see what they're going to look like and how they would be able to be used once they are released. And one of them is being able to schedule your screen recordings. I believe that's only going to be available on the team uh, subscription. And then also you'll be able to set your videos to auto delete essentially by adding in an expiration date. Um, on that video. So if let's say you did a video and you maybe did it for a specific client and um, you only wanted that client to have access to it for six months, you can then set the expiration date for six months from the day that you sent it to them and it will automatically delete. You can also um, create uh, notifications where, sorry, not notifications, but you can block notifications when you're recording. I don't know if a lot of you have notifications that will pop up on your screen. They may not make a noise, but they'll pop up on your screen. And if you forget to um, turn those off before you start to record, regardless of whether it's Camtasia, Loom, whomever, it's going to appear. Well, this platform apparently is going to give you the ability to block those. So I'm curious and looking forward to seeing that. Now the price points, like I mentioned, is quite similar to, um, to that of Loom. And so they have, this is what their um, reporting tool looks like. It has the ability to do the screen webcam and screen and webcam, as I mentioned before. But their price points on a monthly basis are 10 and 15 for the starter and the team. And if you sign up for it annually, it's seven and, and $10. Um, the quality of the videos, it's 4K and up if you're doing the uh, starter and team. And it's standard recording quality for um, the light version. So that certainly means it's not going to be 4K, but it's not going to be, you know, low like 480 either. It's probably either 720 or 1080. Um, they do offer you unlimited recording on their free plan. It's free for life and you can do screen and webcam recording as well as you can see viewer insights. Um, it does give you cloud storage of up to 15 gigs and there are no limits on the number of downloads that you can do. The Do Not Disturb is going to be available also on the light or free version, but it's not out yet. 
and also they're going to have a feature called noise cancellation and anything more elaborate than that you're going to have to go to the starter and above which is like blurring the screen having custom backgrounds having a responsive screen recording and things of that nature so it is definitely a tool to look into. Um, they consider themselves as having an editor. I don't consider it an editor. I don't consider Loom to have an editor either. They have trimmers. VMaker's trimmer is different than Loom's. It's in a lot of ways more responsive, but at the same time, Loom gives you more flexibility. So I don't want this to turn into a compare and con contrast video. I'll do a what's the diff video later on these two. But um, it is definitely a tool that's interesting and worth my while investigating. I do want you guys to check it out. So click on the link in the description below if you want to check it out. I don't have any videos on this, so I don't have any previous videos for you to look at. But I do plan on doing some videos moving forward. Um, on this, especially once their features come out, the really impressive features. So I'll be doing some featurette videos on that. And um, as always, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already subscribed to my wonderful channel, please feel free to do so and click the notification bell so that you can get notified when I come out with new videos like this one. And if you have any products out there that I have not covered yet that you think would be an ideal, suitable product for me to um, feature on my channel, feel free to leave that in the comments below. And if you have any questions about this product, feel free to let me know as well. And until next time, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.